GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, for mrgoff.com. This video will focus on the importance of the balance of payments. The UK has had only a few quarters with a surplus balance of payments on current account. The size of the deficit on balance of payments on current account has been growing. Recently, the balance of payments on current account has fluctuated more than usual with some very low and very high numbers for different quarters. So if the UK constantly has a balance of payments deficit, just how important is a balance of payments deficit to a country? The answer to that really depends on what causes the balance of payments deficit. If the deficit is a result of falling demand for domestically produced goods, this can be a massive problem. This is because Falling demand for domestic goods means the firms that produce them need less workers to produce them. Therefore, they reduce their workforce. With more people becoming unemployed, they have less money to spend elsewhere, and now other firms are facing a drop in demand as well. And we get this cyclical negative effect on the economy. If the deficit is a result of low productivity, this can take a while to fix, because issues like productivity require greater levels of training and education, and even though you can set up the courses, it will take a while before people go through them and you get the people that you need to increase productivity in your economy. When we buy more imports than we have exports, that additional spending is not financed by additional income. And so overall, the country's debt increases. The length of any deficit will also be important. If it's just a short deficit where you're normally in surplus, it will be of less importance than if you have a consistent deficit like the UK does. As a deficit balance of payments on current account means less demand for domestic firms, this helps reduce pressure on prices, keeping down demand pull inflation. As less people purchase our exports and we purchase more imports, there's both less people buying pounds and more people selling pounds. This leads to a reduction in the exchange rate We'll be looking more at how this works in an upcoming video. Finally, and most importantly for the UK, it's not as important if you have a constant deficit if it's only a small percentage of GDP. This chart here shows that the UK's current account, though constantly in deficit, has been a small percentage of GDP each year. Now let's have a look at the importance of a current account surplus. Germany has had a balance of payments on current account surplus since they overcame the challenges of reunification. Just like with a deficit, how important it is depends on the reason for the surplus. If it is due to increased demand for domestic goods, this can have a very positive effect on the economy. This is because firms need additional workers to produce the additional goods. This means people have higher overall incomes and demand for other goods within the economy also increases. And we get this positive spiral of positive effects on the economy. When we have a balance of payments on current account surplus, it means that the costs that we face from our imports are more than balanced out by the additional income we receive from our exports. This means that the country's overall debt goes down. If a surplus is only short lived, that will have a much smaller effect than if it's a continuous surplus like Germany's been seeing for some time now. As a surplus means increased demand for the domestic economy, this can put upward pressure on prices and lead to demand pull inflation. With more exports, there is a greater demand for the domestic currency. With fewer imports, there is less reason to sell it. This leads to an overall increase in the exchange rate. As with a deficit, the percentage of GDP that the surplus represents is also going to affect just how important it actually turns out to be. That brings us to the end of this video on the importance of the balance of payments. Join me in the next video when I'll be evaluating the causes of surpluses and deficits on the balance of payments on current account. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.